in deep learning, we use things called deep neural networks that have um, sets of weights, right? And then there's there's many, many, many sets of weights in a deep neural network. Um, and so these weights, oftentimes researchers will visualize what the weights look like. And so, um, for example, if you have a, a network that classifies animals and you take like the weights for a dog and you unroll that weight and kind of create an image from it, you'll see little pictures of dog heads and tails in the in the weights. So basically it has shown that, oh, a dog has these types of characteristics and these weights will go and search through the image and say, oh, what matches what I've already seen um, anywhere in the picture? And how could I use that to determine some property of this image? So deep learning is when you take um, neural networks and you take the layers within a neural network and you stack them very, very deep um, so that when you pass an image through, you're, you're transforming that image many, many times. Um, this can be anywhere between like 10 to like 100 different transformations in one layer. And that's why they call it deep learning. Um, and so while deep learning is not the only way that people do artificial intelligence, it's probably the most popular tool nowadays because it's able to approximate functions that are very, very complex that could most likely never be approximated in um, finite ways by, you know, a simple function that operates on a single pixel. Um, and then another thing about deep learning is that it takes a lot of linear algebra. Um, so you multiply a set of weights on an image um, and you're able to kind of say that, oh, this pattern that I see means that we've seen this thing. So I'm going to give this signal that says that we've seen this pattern. When you put an image through a deep learning network, you're basically recognizing all these different patterns and then combining them into one um, representation of the image so that you can pass it through some other approximator that can tell you whatever you want to know. Basically, like, is there a cat in this picture? Um, you know, how far away are each object in the picture? What objects are in the picture? You know, that type of thing.